I've had an elbow problem for about a year now. I did, um, last year I did some gymnastics, which was my manifestation. I really wanted to do gymnastics. And after that, I kind of had some, um, long standing elbow pain that never really went away. It was, it was annoying. It wasn't like life or death or anything. Um, I also had some nerve impingement that started gradually getting worse over this past year. Uh, it was from when I was in nursing school studying. I rested my hand on my, or my head on my hand like that, just hours upon hours of studying. So no studying can make you injured, but there, there you have it. So it was, it was never something I really addressed in anything I did just because it wasn't um, super important to me. It was just annoying, but I would feel it. Like I couldn't bend my elbow. I'd get some, you know, that if you hit your funny bone, I'd get zing pain. There's, I had positives called Tonell sign. You flick the elbow, you get some shooting kind of nerve pain. Um, it was not where it bothered me, but it um, didn't really hold me back from doing a, a ton of things, but it definitely gotten progressively worse for the past probably four to six months. And I never really focused on it in my meditations because, again, I just had other things I was focusing on. And this this week I was doing um, Blessing of the Energy Centers. I think it was I think it was the fourth one that came out. I was doing Blessing of the Energy Centers 4. And I remember focusing on those centers. And lately I've had a ton of energy just rushing through me when I've been doing that meditation. I've Once I got used to it, uh, it's really cool. Um, but I was feeling that kind of – it's just that kind of this rush of energy. And then when I got to – my heart center, um, I remember feeling like I had this tingling, prickly, almost itchy sensation starting at the top of my head. And it, it was kind of on both sides. It was definitely more on my left side. And it started going down my face. And I could also feel it on my left side of my body and in my arm. And I thought I had like an itch or something. Like It, it makes no sense now because it was very like specific sensation. But I, like, kind of scratched my face, and I was like, this is annoying. But I, I kept, you know, meditating, and uh, it came back again, like, really intensely, um, and I felt it go down my left arm. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to kind of go with this. And I felt almost like a tugging sensation on my elbow. It's kind of hard to explain. There was some sort of, like, um, physical sensation on, on my elbow. Um, and, again, I was just kind of like, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to go with this. Uh, I finished the meditation. I um, I think I laid down for a little bit afterwards. Uh, I like to finish them laying down. And I sat up and I kind of went about my day. And then I realized um, my elbow. My elbow feels different. And I kind of tested it out. Um, it felt like it, first of all, had been, like, manipulated where I, I kind of um, – I would get some pain by doing specific motions. Like, if I lock my, my – put force through my elbow when it's bent, I would get pain. And then, but most noticeably, the that zinging nerve sensation I would get even by just by bending my elbow like this was almost completely gone. A uh, little bit of pain left, but the nerve, that nerve sensation, the moves that I would do, even like putting my hair up like that, if I bent my elbow a little bit, I would get a little zing. Again, not terrible excruciating pain, but super noticeable. It was, it was gone. I was... I was so shocked. Um, I didn't even know what to do. I, I, I texted my boyfriend, and I was almost afraid to say that it's gone because part of that old self, that fear is holding you back. You don't want to say it because, you know, oh, my gosh, what if it's true? But I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own this. And um, it's almost completely better. I'm doing – there's some specific movements like handstands would kind of bother it, and I've been doing those. They haven't bothered it yet. Um, even at work um, – Again, I'm a nurse. I move. I do a lot of pushing and pulling of patients in bed, and I would feel the pain when I did that, and I haven't felt anything. Um, so it was for me that was really cool because a lot of my meditations, I I focus on specific things. Like I, I said, I have a huge chronic pain problem, and um, and there's still some lingering stuff that I'm working on, and I just focus on. I focus on it, but I didn't focus on this, and I've heard people heal themselves, and they do it one of two ways: either they you know, just look at connecting to the divine or they have an intention of healing. And for me, I think that intention, um, that attention to it is negative for me because I, I focus on and I look for, I said, was oh, it better? Is it this? Is it that? Did I focus well enough my meditation? It's I, I'm too analytical. I don't focus it on at all. I just, I focused on, you know, loving those centers. And I felt, I felt something go through me. And that's never happened before. It's never been an immediate thing. So for me, that was... That was huge, and um, I'm really excited to continue the work. And um, for me, I've been doing it for so long, but that's like a major breakthrough. Um, 
And it's very exciting. Uh, I love this work, and there's just so many new things that are happening at the workshops, and um, more miracles are happening every day.